What's going on guys, Andrew Hayes here back with another review and today I'm reviewing Sicario Day of the Soldado which is directed by Stefano Salama and stars Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro and it's about the drug war on the US-Mexico border which escalates because cartels are trafficking terrorist FBI agent Matt Graver played by Josh Brolin enlists in some familiar help Alejandro who is played by Benicio Del Toro. Now, at first... When this movie was first announced, I didn't know how to feel. You know, the first one I loved. It was directed by uh, Denis Villeneuve. Uh, and I love Denis Villeneuve. He, I, think he, I think he's one of the best directors working today. And he wasn't coming back for this one. So I fe felt like, uh, I don't know, you know, if it's just going to, you know, have that same tone. Because that's one of my favorite things about the first one was the tone and the style. And... I just didn't know if we needed uh, another one. I, I loved how the first one ended, and I just didn't think this one would be all that necessary. But there was one thing that kept me excited, and actually, it was on my top ten most anticipated of the year. Uh, and that's because Tyler uh, Taylor Sheridan, my bad, Taylor Sheridan was coming back to write this. He wrote the first one. And I think he's a fantastic writer. I think he's one of the best writers working today. He, like I said, he wrote the first one, which I absolutely loved. He also uh, wrote Hell or High Water, which is one of my personal favorite movies of 2016. And then last year, he directed and wrote uh, Wind River, which is, I think, in my opinion, one of the best directorial debuts. So the fact that Taylor Sheridan was coming back, uh, kept me really excited for this. I, it kept me having faith because I feel like if anyone was to uphold that tone and that, uh, style and that vision of the first one, it's him. And then, um, you know, I went to go see it and I loved it. I actually legitimately just checked the Rotten Tomato score. Um, and it has 65%. I think that's absurd because I think this movie's great. This is easily the most underrated movie I have seen this year. I, I don't know why it has a 65%. I think it should be a little bit higher. Uh, but I absolutely loved it. And I'll tell you why. Uh, I mean, l let me talk about Josh Brolin uh, and Benicio Del Toro. But Josh Brolin first. Josh Brolin has had one hell of a year. You know, he did uh, Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. He was Cable in Deadpool 2. And um, both killed... Killed it in both of those movies. And he kills it in this. He, uh, I think, does his, his character very much just, justice, like he did in the first one. And I very much enjoyed his performance. He uh, was great in this movie. But I think there, there are two standouts. The first one is Benicio Del Toro. I love his character and his performance, but his character. It's so complex and I, I loved him in the first one. And I feel like they expanded upon his character a lot. And I loved what they did with his character in this one. And it just made it even more complex and made me love it even more. His performance is a standout and his character is a standout. But I think, for me, the person that easily stood out the most. And I, and I don't know her name. Shame on me. It's the girl from... She plays Isabel in this movie. She is from... Uh, Transformers the last night and uh that is one of my uh least favorite movies of last year and um I didn't like her in that movie I mean I don't like anybody in that movie but I didn't like her in that movie she um amazed me in this movie it, I she really proved that she can really act and I you know I uh loved her in this movie she was easily the standout and proved you know that we have a great actress on our hands and that you know she is uh very young, and I hope that she has a long, uh, great career and whatnot. I also, you know, like I said, I love it kept the tone. It, I would argue that it's more darker in this one. I mean, the first one is dark, but this one, I think it might be darker. Um, and that's saying a lot. And I loved it for this. I loved how dark they got, especially in the beginning I'm not going to say what, but it involves a grocery store. That was insane. Like, just some of the stuff that they did in this movie was absolutely insane. And I loved how insane... Excuse me. How insane they got. 
I love, uh, see, uh, I don't mind slow burn paces. As long as it keeps me invested in the sto story. And uh, this was, like the first one, a slow burn pace. And I was very much invested in this one. And I loved how they kept me invested into this one. Despite the slow burn pace. As for my negatives, I would say towards the middle and towards the end a little bit. I, it, it, you did feel the runtime a little bit. You did feel the pacing a little bit. And I wasn't as invested during those parts. But for the most part, I was invested. I was very much intrigued by what was going on. I, I was very much locked in and focused. And you believed that that was actually what, uh, you know, this this thing was real. And I love it when a movie, just how good it is, you, you could believe that this is something that would happen. And I very much could believe that this is something that would happen. I give this movie an A-. minus. Despite the pacing issues here and there, uh, it, it has great performances by Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro. Fantastic writing, and uh, surprisingly, very good direction in my opinion. Uh, I Like I said, I haven't seen any anything from this director, but uh, I, he very much impressed me, and uh, I'm glad that you know he did this movie justice. I... There have been rumors about a third one. I, uh, I, yeah, no, with the way this ended, I, I'm very much, uh, I would like a third one. You know, a nice trilogy, I think would be nice. As long as Taylor Sheridan comes back to write it, I'll be happy. And Josh Brolin, Benicio Del Toro. As long as the three of them come back, I'm good to go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please be on the lookout for my next review. Don't know which one that's going to be, but please be on the lookout for it. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, do all that kind of fun stuff. Until next time, guys. Have a nice day.